Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can set up automated tagging inside email campaigns based on the interaction of your subscribers. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you're running a campaign, a webinar, for example, you're in the middle of a launch and you really want to see who actually clicked on the link and who clicked to watch your replays, for example. Let's say first you were running the webinar live, then you're sending out the replay. If people clicked on it, then you can send dedicated emails based on that action to really remarket to these people and maybe not to the ones who didn't even click on your webinar link in the first place because you don't want to bother them with a promotion that is maybe not relevant to them. And you just really go really hard on those who raised their hand and said, hey, I'm interested in watching that webinar. So let's go and let's set this up. All right, let's click on marketing on the left, emails at the top and then select campaigns. Click plus new campaign or just select one that you've already created. So let's choose this one. And here we are in the email builder. Once you've renamed your campaign, you've added your text, your images, your buttons, your social media icons and so on and so forth. You can just go ahead and click send or schedule the top right corner then scroll down and right here you see the option add tags okay so you would just toggle this on and now that means you've turned on to automate adding tags to contacts depending on how they interact with your campaigns now furthermore you can also add conditions so just click the add conditions button here we can choose a condition hey the contact opened the campaign hey the contact clicked the campaign the contact replied to the campaign unsubscribed email hard bounce or email soft bounce let's say simply we're going to just go with open the campaign then we want to add a tag which says for example open campaign you click the drop down menu and you will add your campaign tag please note right now one of the limitations is you can't create a tag right here inside of this email builder you would have to go back down to settings bottom left and then click tags and create a tag right there so let's do that right now let's go back click on settings bottom left look for tags click on tags click plus new tag top right corner add your tag let's say tag open for example let's create let's create another one real quick let's call it clicked instead of opened and another one let's say tag url clicked let's hit create let's go back to our campaign click on marketing emails and campaigns and here we go let's enter this campaign let's actually add some text right now and add a url let's hyperlink google for example hit save go send and schedule let's scroll back down turn on add tags again click on add conditions let's choose basic campaign interaction again let's choose conditions contact open to campaign let's select a tag let's select tag opened okay great if you wanted to delete it for whatever reason you just click the delete bin icon right here if you wanted to add one more condition for example the person also clicked on a specific link just add one more condition choose to type basic campaign interaction click the campaign then select a tag let's say tag clicked all right now let's add one more condition and here you can see that the contact click on the link is grayed out that's grayed out because we haven't turned on track links here so let's cancel real quick here you see track Track clicks just turn that on and then go back to conditions add one more and you can then select contact clicked on a link okay now let's set a condition now here our link shows up the google.com link okay and now let's select another tag and here we go tag url clicked that's it let's hit save and actually wherever you can just turn on utm tracking as well the more you can track the better and let's send a test email and then let's choose a contact and let's review and send Book actions created, great. And here we go, here's the email, let's click on this link. Here we are at Google, perfect. And let's go back to marketing, emails, campaigns, and then statistics. Here you can select the dates when you wanna see the results for the last seven days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or just individually custom dates, hit confirm. And awesome, here you can see one has been delivered, one has been opened, and one has been clicked. If you scroll further down, you can again see one email sent, open rate 100%, scroll down more. And here on the most recent emails, you can see this campaign, one recipient, let's click on it on the right here you can see the email details click on load more statistics then you see the summary right here if you toggle this on you can show the stats in numbers instead of percentage you can select click performance and it will show you the URL, including the UATM tracking that we've turned on before. So google.com, perfectly fine. If you click on a text right here, then here you can see 
all of these three tags have been added to that particular contact that has opened the email, that has clicked on the email and has also clicked on the URL inside the email. So here you can click view contacts and it will show you all the contacts that have done this particular action. And that's it already. This is how you can automate adding tags to specific email campaigns based on the interaction of your subscribers. Now, soon to come is a new feature that you can add the little tag inside the email builder as well. So you then you don't have to go down to settings, tags and create a tag outside of the email builder. I hope you like this feature and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.